Hi there, my name is Marcy and in this video I am going to show you how to make this really easy plant hanger made out of our recycled jar and some yarn I had laying around. You can add some rocks like I did here because we picked it up, my kids and I, from a walk at the beach. So here is the trick. You are going to need a piece of some sort of rope. I have this macrame rope laying around. So I use that and the plant that I showed you at the beginning, I use yarn, but that was a longer piece and I really didn't want to use it for the video because it was too long and it was filming complications. But basically you do what I just did here and that is it. I will recommend you add a little bit of hot glue at the bottom and maybe on the sides where the ropes um, touch each other because sometimes if you move it around or if you put it outside the wind will knock it down so in this case we're going to propagate some pothos as you saw to put in my little jar this is one of my favorite plants i used to be a plant killer but now look at my plants they're actually growing so much that i need to give them a trim my 20 month old can actually start reaching it so we're gonna chop it down a little bit to create some new babies, just get your plants and try to look for places where they have lots of like nodes. Um, the nodes are this little uh, parts where the leaf touches the um, little stem. And here, these are the little nodes. From here, the roots are going to grow. So make sure you have some of those in the water and not the leaves because the leaves will rotten and it will be a bit of a mess if you let it be like that. So cut the part that you want to propagate. In this case, I'm using the longest um, and I'm gonna use um, the others too because they're all kind of the same length. So I look at my nodes and then I decide to cut leaf by leaf. Why? Because this way I have many, many different propagations going some of them will take and some others won't so just keep doing this and cutting where the nodes are i'm not going to cut this part you see i hesitated here because it's got a little note there and I, like one of those protrusions and i really want to see if it will grow or not so a bit of experiment for me but um so far i've propagated this plant so many times and i've given them away as gifts and it's so much fun so collect all your cuttings get rid of the extra little bits and pieces you cut and use some water don't have to add anything to the water just add I like to add rocks to my container. I do some bigger rocks at the beginning um, just because I'm going to put this plant outside and I don't want the wing knocking the um, little leaves out of the container. So the rocks will be holding it per se inside the container and keeping them a little bit more safe. But um, you can do whatever you want if you're going to have it sitting on a shell inside your house. In a shelf, I'm sorry, <laughs> inside your house. You can tell I need some coffee. Okay, now add the water and keep adding the leaves after, like if you have more cuttings. And after a few weeks, this is how the roots are gonna look. This is actually after some, like a month or two. And this is another plant because I didn't wanna wait to show you what the roots will look like. And you will actually, be helping some little thirsty bugs in summer. Look at that one. Did you see that on the left? You can rewind it saw the little guy, but um, this little bug has been coming back to my plant in my window for like ever. I don't know if it's the same one or a different one, but anyhow, this is how the plant looks once you hang it with a little trick. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more fun jar projects. Bye.